is our teacher helper from yesterday. Ava, go for it, Ava. Participate, be respectful, on time, microphones muted, and cool full name in Zoom. Stay seated, eyes on me. That's right. Put your big Google eyes right on the screen. All of the <laughs> magic will happen on the screen today. One more time, if you need the link for the Nearpod, check your Zoom chat. Okay. Thank you for your expectations. Now, Miss Ava, what is today? Tuesday, April 11, 2023. Fabulous. Thank you. Awesome. And uh, some monkey claps for Ava, Leon, Avery, Addie, Dr. Tyler, and Mackenzie. Happy birthday, guys. I hope you're having a great month. Now, weekly spotlights. Who do we have? You know, I don't see him here today. Lucas was an awesome Zoom promise keeper. Madison for amazingly detailed responses. And Arya for working hard, keeping up with all her assignments. So we will celebrate. Hopefully Lucas will come. We also owe a game to someone from last week. Now, what are we doing today? Today, we're actually working on our next steps. It's comparing and contrasting the basic needs that all living things need to survive. Mm. Are you having your needs met right now? Do you have a shelter? Do you have food? Do you have water? Do you have air? <laughs> Good. Just checking. You're surviving and you're doing a great job, guys. So let's near pod. I will join you over there in a moment. Oops. Hold on. Yep. Okay, good. So let me go ahead and join you in the near pod. Join, join, join. All right. While she's getting ready, I will introduce her. Um, one of the things that she, w the reason why uh, you see Addie's face on here is because she won um, a prize for her, what was it? Her March reading challenge. And she chose to be the teacher's the teacher of the day, not even a teacher helper, but the, literally the teacher. So I'm going to be letting her run today's lesson. And we've had this before. I remember uh, either it was Ben or Alma or both. They chose to do a, um, a teacher lesson. So we're going to do this one with Addie as our teacher today. But before we begin, can I just remind you of something? <gasps> Guys, put up your hand for an oath. Show me your oath hand, your right hand. I promise to be an excellent student and respect my teacher. Say it. To be an excellent I student and respect my teacher. Excellent. Thank you. And no matter who the teacher is, substitute, real, real teacher, student teacher, whoever it is, you show respect. You still do not unmute to say whatever random thing happens in your mind. Wait to be called on. Addie and I are going to work together, but she's mostly going to do this lesson. She's been practicing it, and I'll help her when she needs help. So, any questions? Nope. Good. Let's get started. Let's learn about, um, oh, by the way, if you have just joined us, let me see. You can't, you can't get in the near pod. Oh, dear. Tr keep trying. All right. Miss Addie, why don't you read that for me? Okay. Hi, I'm Addie, and I'll be your science teacher today. Listen carefully. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, the first thing says, how much do you already know about the basic needs of living things? A, I know a lot and can explain. B, I know a little. I need a bit more practice. C, help. I need instruction and support. Wonderful. Okay, we'll give them a moment to respond. Oh, Addie, look at their answers. We have a few friends that, look at that. They are comfortable. They know about basic needs already. And then we have some friends who this lesson will help. All right, guys, thank you for responding. Let's go to the next slide, Addie. Okay. Okay. Whoop, whoop, let me go back. There it is. What do you need 
drag the basic need over to the top of each scenario scenario good and i'll read the scenarios for us it says these living things have some basic needs the first box says a plant is starting to dry up and wilt Ooh. next to it it says a puppy is panting after a long run next box a squirrel is looking for a hole to hide in and the last box says a bird is looking for seeds so each of these scenarios we have an animal that is seeking or looking for its basic need to be met okay miss addy what are the red answers can you read each one needs water needs air needs food needs shelter okay and so miss addy told us to drag each need basic need over the top of each scenario mm -hmm. so let's see how they did miss addy mm -hmm. oh look at that so yes the plant needs water it's dry and wildy the puppy uh does the puppy need water too okay and and the squirrel is looking for a hole it needs some shelter to hide in maybe something's chasing it like my dog and how about oh what was the last one let's go back and see a bird is looking for seeds it needs food awesome okay needs water needs food needs air needs shelter hmm is there any one of those that needed air? Is there any one of those scenarios that needed more than one need met? Addie, why don't you call in a friend? Okay, how about, let's see, Leon. Which one needed air, Leon? <clears throat> Well, yeah. you need air to breathe, because without air, you wouldn't be able to breathe. Is it the plant, the puppy, the squirrel, or the bird? I would Who say the puppy. Yeah, because why? What was he doing? Running. Yes, he needs to collect his air. So he might need water and air. Oh, guys, take care of the puppy. Give him two needs. Oh, uh -huh. poor thing. Okay, great job, guys. Let's move on to the next slide and hold on tight. We're going to go to, oh, this is our field trip. Go ahead, Addie. Okay. Take a okay, everyone. Scroll around and see all of the animals and see if their basic needs are getting met. Let's see. There's some ducks in the water in the pond, and there's some. Other animals, which are goats, and and that's it. That's all of the, and there's some plants, too. <gasps> yeah, ooh, very good. What's this in the back? An emu? An ostrich? What are those? <laughs> what are those? Uh, I just it's an that. ostrich. Ostrich? Okay. All right. What's this way in the back? Uh, I don't, nothing. Maybe bees or birdhouse. Hmm. Oh, let me see. <laughs> let me see. Uh, oh, it's right on the fence post. I don't know what that is. Looks like a birdhouse. Okay. So, guys had a moment to look around. Addie says, be sure to look for how each living thing has is having its needs met because... thinking it's thinking okay go for it eddie okay name a living thing from our field trip and tell how its needs are being met oh easy peasy lemon squeezy <gasps> name one one living thing from the field trip not from your brain not from outside what did you notice in the field trip eddie said and tell explain how its needs were being met okay ducks okay 
That's cute about the duck. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful duck. Okay. There were. We'll give them a few more seconds. Yep, you can keep telling them what's great and maybe even ask some questions. What's sad is I can't even see anything. Students can see and continue to enter. Student post for you. I don't see anything. Good old Nearpod won't let me see your stuff. <laughs> oh well. You saw ducks, Addy? Mm -hmm. Good. I wonder how their needs are being met. Did anyone tell us? Let's see. Ducks. Oh, ducks need food, water, and air. Good. Okay, we'll go to the next slide in about 15 seconds, guys. Is there anybody who has not responded? You see, people are still typing, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Toby. Hi, Mackenzie. Hi, Marving. Hi, Isaac. Hi, Asa. Hi, Ben. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Carter. Hi, Leon. Hi, Ava. Hi, Madison. Hi, Olmo. And hello, Teacher Addie. <laughs> okay, let's move on. You guys, five, four, yeah, you are. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, go for it, Addie. Why won't okay. you grow? Why won't you grow? Okay, plant a seed in each pot. The first plant is getting both water and sun. Dr drag the sun and, and water over top of pot. pot. Plant. Plant, sorry. Sorry. No, I think I messed that up. Go ahead. What's number three? Okay. The middle plan is getting sun only, no water. Drag the sun over top of the plant. The last plant is getting water only, no sun. Drag watering can over the top of the plant. Draw, draw. Drag, I meant. No, draw, you're right. Draw the growth. Draw the growth you predict will happen for each plant. Woohoo. That was amazing. Thank you. So, Miss Addie is asking us to effectively create a diagram to show the growth of each plant that has some needs, all needs, or no needs met. So I'm just going to reiterate in case anybody needs me to read them again. First, we plant a seed in each pot. Okay, let's stick our little seeds in each pot. Then we go to start giving some needs to each plant. The first plant is getting water and sun. Drag the sun and the water. Sun and water over the first plant. There it is. Ooh. The middle plant is getting sun only. Only sun. <gasps> okay, number four. The last plant is getting only water. Hmm. Drag the growth you predict will happen for each plant. So now you have your drawing tool. And now we have to draw what we predict the growth will look like with for each plant, for each seed, based on the needs that it is receiving. So I can't wait to see how you guys did. Oh. Yeah, oh, look at that. Addie, check that out. So Addie, which plant do you think would have the most growth? And can you select some people to discuss it? Sure, how about Ava and Mackenzie discuss which one is the, did the boat the most best? Is it 
The first, the second, or the third? I That's think the first one. Okay. Me too. Why? Because the first one has um both water and sun, and the, the other two only have one. And also, if you only put one sun in no water, then it won't do anything because there's no water. And if you just put water with no sun, then it would not grow at all. It's because the sun makes plants grow and um, it like makes them grow. <laughs> the water and the sun, the plants need water and the sun because they both help the plants together. If there's only one of them, then they both like they won't grow as much. Okay, good job. Wow, yeah, that was great. Hey, Addie, ask two yeah. more friends, two, two other friends to discuss what areas on earth would have all sun and hardly any water? Okay, how about Ava and Carter? Emmy and Carter, I meant Emmy and Carter. What place can you think of on Earth that has a lot of sun but almost no water? All sun is almost no water. I think it's the desert because it's only sun. Mm -hmm. Carter? Hi, Carter. Do you want to talk about it? Oh, it was what place on Earth has a lot of sun, but not a lot of water. Go ahead. The desert, but it's funny because like- The desert? Go, Do things grow well in the desert? Oh, you two uh, talk about it. Sort of, sometimes. There's only like cactuses, some weeds, you know. Um, 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 there's not a lot of stuff that grows in the desert. Because there's Emmy? no water to um, to um, cool it down, so mm -hmm. awesome. there's only a few things. Emmy? Yes. Yeah. She agrees. Okay. <laughs> That's true. It takes a specialized plant to grow in the desert. And what about a place on earth that has too much water? Addie, who do we want to discuss that? Thank you, Emmy and Carter. How about... We have Toby, oh, Marvin, Asa, uh, Madison, Asa. Ruby. Asa. Omo and Asa. Okay, go for it. What place on earth would receive a lot of water but not a lot of sun? Um, the sea have way too much water, but... Mm -hmm. The sea have too much water for plants, so only some plants like seaweed can live with that much water. Mm, interesting. So plants might grow with water, but will they grow big and strong without a lot of sun? Who is the other person? Asa? I think it's the middle of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like inside deep. Yeah, yeah. It takes a special type of plant, I suppose, to grow in the ocean with all that water. What about the rainforest? Think about all the plants on the bottom of the rainforest. Yeah, they get a lot of water, but maybe they don't grow. Maybe the, the sun is blocked by other trees and it can't grow up as high. I've seen that happen with a lot of trees. If there's a big group of trees, like in a forest, it might get enough water or even too much water, but the trees, if they can't reach the sun, they don't grow very tall. It's an interesting experiment to try. And by the way, at the end of this, I'm going to have a brand new challenge. So get ready. All right, Miss Addie, let's move it on. Are you ready for this next part? Yes. Okay, go for it. Okay. How? Who has, who has basic needs? Drag the basic needs onto each image. The first one says shelter, air, food, and water. Beautiful. 
Okay, let's see. I'm curious to see if there's a difference in our basic needs between a sunflower and a raccoon. Mm. Oh, wow. Almost giving all the basic needs to the raccoon. What is the sunflower's needs? Let's see. Ooh, Emmy. Yep. When we think of shelter, we think of a roof over our head. We can also consider that a place to grow. So maybe if you think about it as just being a, its own special spot to grow, could the flower need a little bit of shelter or a place to grow as well? Mm -hmm. Nice. So I think, Addie, you and I are noticing that both living things have similar needs, don't they? Yeah. It, could, it could need shelter, but sometimes the shelter could block the sun. If it's like, if it's like, um, like too covered in. Oh, very nice, Toby. Okay, hold on. You'll get to talk in about two seconds, okay? We're going to give you the next one. You and Marvin can discuss something coming up. Hold on tight. All right, let's see. Great job, guys. I definitely agree. And you can consider that even though we say that shelter is actually just a roof over our heads, you can also consider it to be a, a space to grow, its own little place, okay? It needs its own little place to grow. Now, here we go. Let's do Miss Addie's next one. Compare. Compare the basic needs of plants and animals. How are they similar? How are they different? Draw a line to connect the basic needs to the living things. Great. The first one says, needs shelter, needs food, needs air, and needs water. Yep, awesome. So there are always going to be some differences and similarities when you are comparing and contrasting different, you know, living things. Um, and right here, you are comparing the needs of plants versus animals, just like you did on the last slide. So all you have to do is draw cute little lines to connect its need to the living thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, Mackenzie, look at you go. Almo, excellent. Ruby, nice work. Yep. Are there some differences and similarities? Let's ask those two friends. Remember Toby and Marbing? Do you want to call on them? Yeah. Okay, sure. go for it. Toby and Marbing. Say Toby and Marbing. Toby and Marbing. Okay. Guys, talk about what the similarities and differences are for each living thing. The difference is um, that, like, they they both pro they both probably um, need shelter, but um, the but the flowers don't need like a lot of shelter because the sun helps them grow. Okay. Marbing, is he here? Okay, go ahead, Marbing. What else? Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. What about food, air, and water? Are they, they both the same? Different. Yes. Okay, let's do it. What do you think, Toby? Is that true? Do you yeah. agree? Okay, so they both need food. They both need air. And they both need water? How's that? Is that good? Give me a thumbs up, Marby, Marvin and Toby. Is that good? Is that what you wanted? Awesome. So the difference I think they were mentioning is flowers don't need the type of shelter. They don't need a nest. They don't need a roof over their heads. They don't need a hole in the ground. Uh, well, yes, they do. Wait a minute. They do need a hole in the ground. Where else are you going to plant a flower? <laughs> so they do need a type of shelter, a place to grow. Awesome, guys. Let's move on. All right, Addie, we're getting close to the end. Go for it. Record. 
A. Record the different ways those living things get their basic food needs met. So okay. what I want you to do is record if you can, or you can type or draw. Perfect. So, one little comment, one little thought, one little idea of food. how these living things get their food needs met in each picture. <gasps> What's happening? How are they getting their food? Mm -hmm. Oh, there! I like how they're drawing, uh, to or circling their little, how they're getting their food. Notice how the the plant is getting their food. Ava is pointing to the sun. It's making its own food because it can't drive to McDonald's. If you saw a plant driving to McDonald's, what would you do? <laughs> I'd be a little nervous. Wonderful. Great job, guys. Guess what? You're going to do it again. These three examples of living things, you showed how they obtain or attain their food needs. Now let's go to the next one. You ready, Addie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go back to my screen. Yep. Record the different ways of living things get their basic air needs need met. Mm -hmm. Sorry about all the typos. I must have been really going too fast when I typed. You're doing an amazing job. All right, guys. So she's asking you to compare how are each one of these living things receiving their basic need of air? Uh-huh. <laughs> he's he's getting it from the oxygen in the in the air. Oh, what about the fish? How are the fish getting oxygen, guys? Who wants to talk about it? How do fish get oxygen? Addie, why don't you select someone with their hand up? They can explain to us. How about Ava? Ava has her hand up. Okay. Well, the fish still can get oxygen do, through their scales, but they can't get oxygen if they're in the water like us. Mm. Well, we don't get oxygen in the water. <laughs> okay, thank you. Anyone else? Who else? Uh, Addie, pick, some, pick another hand. Okay, how about Carter has his hand up. Okay, Carter, how do fish get oxygen? Because, um... The little fish can like swim up to the um to the um, water surface, mm -hmm. and they can like breathe for air for like a couple seconds, huh? Or like That's one second, and and then they're gonna swim back down. Hmm. Do fish they can hold their breath for like a long time, and they can like breathe through like, their scales. Oh, interesting. Um, 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 because I because I just looked it up. Oh, so it's because, their... like, because I didn't because I didn't really know if they could. Um, if they needed air. Yep, they're they have gills. They're called gills because fish don't have lungs like we do. Remember yeah, your like lung right experiment here. where you did yep. the balloons? They don't have those. Yep. They yep. have a process where they breathe water through their gills and they take the oxygen out of the water. And yep. that's how they breathe. So awesome job. Thank you, Mackenzie. Oh, can you call Mackenzie Addy? Sure, Mackenzie. So I think, so I have two answers. Um, One of them is maybe there's like, I think there's like a little bit of air in the water mm -hmm. or something like that. And they can breathe through the water or like Carter said, they come up to the surface and um, they get what they get air and then go back down and swim oh, thank you for that you know what's really interesting can i tell you guys something cool that there are that that regular fish don't have lungs and so they don't need to go up to the surface but you know you've seen other animals in the ocean like 
whales and manatees and dolphins and guess what they have lungs they can, they have to hold their breath and then go up to breathe where fish don't have to do that so there are mammals that have lungs that live in the ocean and then there are fish that don't have lungs and they don't need to come up for air so there's a difference between fish and mammals and they can both live in the ocean, but one of them needs to come up for air. The other one filters oxygen from the water. All right, love bugs. So that's just a cool fact. You can learn more about that on your own while we go to the next one. Addie, I'm ready. Okay. You go to the different ways those living things get their basic water needs met. Okay. So as quick as you can, Addie wants you to show how these living things get their need, their water need met. Marvin? I was going to say something else. Um, like, like, like the dinosaur that lives way deep down, it, if it goes up to breathe there, it will explode. So yeah, it, it doesn't have lungs. That is a fascinating fact. Yes, due to the water pressure changes, it can't go up very high. It can't come up. It live at the bottom. Awesome. That was a really cool fact. Thank you, Marvin. All right, guys, we're going to go to the next slide in just 10 seconds or less. Thank you for showing how they're meeting their water needs. All living things are going to need their basic needs met. Water, air, food and even shelter. Okay, so are you ready, Miss Addie? Yeah. Go okay. for it. Match each vocabulary word. Vocabulary word with its picture. Ooh, wonderful. Food. Oh, okay. Um, and um, nutrients. Ooh. Water. Ooh. Shelter. Ooh. Air and sunlight. Oh, that was great. Guys, did you know that was a kindergarten lesson? <gasps> I, gave, I grabbed a kindergarten lesson. That was a quick review. And Addie wanted us to match the example of each basic need. And the nutrient one is pretty interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good work. Okay, how'd we do? Oh, they're already done. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you ready, Addie? Go for it. Okay. Fine. Following today's lesson, how much do you are now know about the basic needs of living things? A, I know a lot and can explain. B, I need a little, a bit more practice. C, help, I need instruction and support. Mm -hmm. Plus, we learned some really cool. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, what a great lesson, Addie. You rocked it. Look at all the A's. Wow. And if you find yourself in the B's, you'll have this Nearpod shared with you later today. I think I have to share yesterday's as well. Oops. I'll share both today in your emails. N wow. Addie rocked it. Guys, can you give Addie a rainbow, please? Paint a rainbow in the sky. She rocked it. I am so happy. And thank hey, you. Thank Go you ahead. for learning with me. <laughs> I didn't find a taco, but I found a pizza. <laughs> I know Addie's favorite foods, tacos and pizza. All right, love bugs. She did awesome. And again, you guys can do this too. There's a new challenge coming. Can I tell you about the new challenge before we stop? Well, okay. It's a science challenge. Raise your hand if you think you're going to want to do it, but let me explain it. Okay. If you've ever done a plant terrarium, so I'll show you. Can I can I show you an example? Let me see. Hold on, I have to stop sharing. Um, and I'm gonna stop recording because I can't wait to tell you.